Okay, okay. Jeff Joy. Sound of music. Mm, uh, Mrs. Lovett. Oh, God, that's hard. Um, AK. Oh, wow. Um, probably my dad. No. That's a shame. Oh, I really like doing the Scottish one. My pile up song, probably something by Beyonce. Oh, I don't even know. Is, is Saw, is Saw R-rated? You know, the Saw movies, those awful, I did see one of those and I didn't sleep very well. Um, my mum makes a mean Greek salad. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, there's feta, olives, uh, asparagus, uh, pine nuts, lots of green. Everything, every good thing, yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying right now? A lot from Dream Lover, <laughs> oofty doofty. <laughs> Doofty. The beauty of oofty doofty, Elise, is that it can mean anything. You can say, like, if you're really tired, you go, oh, oofty doofty. Or, like, if something's really good, you go, oofty, you know? Thank, thanking Josh Robson for that one. He gets credit, full credit. Uh, yeah, it broke my sacrum. I was rollerblading and I was going way too fast and my feet went out from under me because this little kid came by and knocked me and I, I really broke it. And I also fractured a second toe. <gasps> I broke my ass. How do you mend a broken heart? You can't fix a broken ass. No. How do you get a broken ass? <laughs> oh, um, I mean, I would really love to go to Europe or somewhere as an adult in the winter time, because I I've only you know been overseas in the winter time when I was very young and I don't remember it a lot. So I'd love to go like I don't know to Switzerland or something and stay in a little cabin and like have an open fire. Probably waitressing. I mean, I've never been so overworked and so underpaid in my entire life. It's funny. Irrational fears. I don't think I have, I think I have like normal fears. Like I'm, I'm not afraid of heights. Like I've been skydiving and stuff, but if I'm on like an open balcony in a really tall building, I start to like freak out. I'm like, oh, cause I'm not like strapped into anything. Ah, <laughs> oh, hmm, I don't know. Probably Danielle O'Malley. Or um, my roommates are pretty awesome to have at dinner. I'm, I'm, ba I'm bad at turning off any movie. I'm like, oh, it's so novel, isn't it? That it's on the television. And I'm like, I could put the DVD on right now and not have to watch all the ads, but nah, I'm just gonna keep it on. <laughs> Why do I do that? It's, yeah, it's stupid. You know, you go, to, you have the night break and you go and make a cup of tea and you settle back in. Um, I'm actually a vegetarian, but I was a medium. I would request medium. Oh, I had a Mitsubishi Mirage. I think it was a 97 and it was like a purple hatchback and it was just such a sad little car, but it did the job. Did the job. <laughs> oh God, I don't know, like probably Medicare. Medicare, Medicare. Medicare is where like creativity and happiness goes to die. Oh. I've dreamt of being a performer. <laughs> As you should. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but I also have always loved animals. So like I just always wanted to be around animals. If there was, we went anywhere and there was a dog, I was like, I am with that dog, you know. Yes. So maybe, maybe I wanted to be a vet as well. I don't remember. Yes. <laughs> You can't tell my mum. Oh no. It's under my, just under my bra line. It's a little love heart. <laughs> um, I've been thinking about it for a really long time. You know, I've been thinking about it for quite a while and just thinking what I might like. And then I decided, no, I just better go and talk to an artist, you know, shoot the shit with them, see what they suggest. And then I just got it. No! Oh my God, it's going to go in the video. My mum's going to know now. Yeah. <laughs> I was Googling breeds of dogs. Like basically crosses, poodles crossed with anything because poodles don't lose hair. But one day, one day, I hope to. <laughs> yes. I'm so good at impressions. So I do Celine Dion. She's like singing and she says to the crowd, How you doing tonight? Let me hear you all. <laughs> Cause I'm your Um, oh, anything that's Celine, probably like because you loved me. Probably would be the same one. <laughs> she would love that. Tea. Um, noisy motorbikes, maybe. Yeah. One year for my birthday when I was a kid, one of my older brothers gave me a basketball. Ugh. I mean, does he know me but at all? No. <laughs> I was like, strange thing? What is this? <laughs> what do I do with this? Um, oh, I don't know, maybe something as simple as just like learning how to look after myself and pay my rent and like pay my bills and I'm pursuing my dream. <laughs> Probably maybe it just her love to tell stories. I'm so excited for Sydney to see it. 
I'm so excited uh, for sort of it to be amped up in like so many different ways that like we have an amazing set and like just being in a bigger space uh, um, and I'm just excited for people to see Nat because she's just so like you just can't take your eyes off her. Monkey. Nat.